A fresh January morning in Shetland. A crowd gathers at the newly posted bill in Lerwick's town centre. And they wait. So straight after last year's Uphelia, we started to prepare. We have 365 days to build a galley. It's built by a special team. Over a thousand torches built by different guys. And then ourselves, our Yarl squad, we actually create this suit for the big day. Oh yes, yes, it's been great excitement thinking about it. Well, my dad and my brothers are in the squad and my uncle is the Arrow and he's got, his sons are also in it. And my uncle has come all the way from New Zealand. I've been invited by my brother and Stuart to come to this uh, festival and uh, I wouldn't miss it for the world. At night time, the procession starts at 7.30 and the Arrow squad leads the procession. The guy who Arrow stands up on his longboat right at the back end of the boat and it's pulled through the streets followed by a, a number of squads up to about 50 who had made designs a new suit but the Jarl he, he wears the helmet and he get, carries the axe and shield that gets handed down from year to year and this has been going on for maybe 70 to 90 years now. The galley enters the park all the geysers come in and slowly circle to create a Catherine wheel around the galley. When they sing the Norsemen's home after the torch has been thrown into the galley. That's when you really start to feel the emotion that's attached to it and you feel really part of a bigger thing. At that time of night is when you, when you remember a lot of geysers and friends who have passed on and they all seem to come to your mind during that time. So after we've burned our galley, we've seen her gone in flames. That's when we start the party. We head all around all the halls. We meet up with friends, family, have a good dram, a good dance, and just revel the whole night away. One big day and one massive night. <laughs>